Hi again, also hier sind wir schon wieder immer noch in London, immer noch bei Dawn of War 3, was übrigens irgendwie wie das Cover von dem neuen Judge Red Movie aussieht, meiner Meinung nach, auf das ich mich auch freuen würde, aber damit haben wir jetzt nichts zu tun. Wir haben jetzt den nächsten hoffentlich extrem kompetenten Gesprächspartner dabei und äh, der stellt sich am besten mal selber vor. Hi, thank you very much for your time. Hi. Maybe you can just tell your name and what do you do? Absolutely. My name is Philip Bull. I'm the game director for Dawn of War 3. Perfect. Game director. So, uh, what does a game director do? Make me lose my games? <laughs> Or what's the ex exact thing you do in Dawn of War? So, my job is to lead the vision of the game. Uh, so, Earliest, at the earliest days, I was setting the design direction, uh, working on the, you know, the fundamentals of the game, working on developing the story, working on making sure all the pieces come together. A big strategy game like Dawn of War 3 is a very complex beast. We have campaign and multiplayer and three factions and all kinds of mechanics. So my job is to make sure they all interface in a way that fulfills that vision that we established early in the early days. Okay, um, so that's um, a lot of work <laughs> and a lot of work with Games Workshop, I think, uh, the Absolutely. people who get the license for yeah. it. Um, how do you present your vision to the guys who get all the characters? Yeah. Um, and what do you do? Do you get new characters, new storylines? How do you do it, work it in this big universe? So we're lucky enough to have a long relationship with Games Workshop. We've been working on Dawn of War games in the Warhammer 40,000 universe for over 10 years now. Uh, you know, I came to Relic 10 years ago to work on these types of games. Yeah, so uh, we have a long, friendly, really productive relationship with them. Uh, we absolutely go through a sort of Uh, vetting and approvals process where we present the new characters we want to do, the new stories we want to bring, even the gameplay that we want to aim for. Um, and, you know, we want to work with them to make sure we're true to their universe and we're making the best game we can. Um, and they've been nothing but supportive of Dawn of War 3 since the get go. So um, I hope they're proud of it because I sure am. Cool. Um, Okay, we don't want to spoil anything for our uh, gamers, future gamers, yeah. but uh, I like to you say you've got a campaign. Absolutely. Multiplayer we could try. It's a uh, one versus one, two, two, and three uh, up against three. Yes. That's, that's all. Yes. No 15 against 15 arena style. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Right. Um, can you tell a little bit about the story? Because it's the third part of a long, long yeah. series. Uh, will it involve things people might need to know from uh, other games? Or do they need to read books or essays about the Warhammer universe? Or is it a, a standing story anybody, even new guys, can enjoy? It's definitely a story newcomers and veterans alike can get into. Uh, there's no pre-existing knowledge that's necessary to enjoy the story. The story is about three generals leading three armies after a mythical weapon um, and all the combat that ensues. Um, so, you know, at a high level, it's sort of, there's a magic sword in a dark castle. We're all going for it. Um, so it's really important for us to make a story that everyone could understand in that way without having, like you say, read books or played previous games. That being said, there's a lot in the story that rewards those people who have been with us since the beginning or who do go back and see that. So there'll be familiar characters from both Dawn of War 1 and Dawn of War 2, um, you know, references to previous games and to things in the universe. Um, you know, my mantra for this is always to, you know, reward people who, who know the IP, but never punish people who don't. All right. So um, maybe just quick, the campaign, what do you think for a normal player? How many hours will there be? So the missions are roughly 40, 45 minutes each. There's 17 of them. So can you, can do, you can do the math. It, you know, tops out at 12 to 15 hours. 
Right. So um, there's a lot of Warhammer games out there. If you look at your colleagues just a few miles uh, uh, from London for Creative Assembly. Yeah. They're doing the Total War thingy. Yeah. That's not an RTS per se, but it's going in the strategy, hard to strategy. Um, how do you differ from these uh, other strategy games? What are uh, your uh, things you do best or what do people li hopefully like? So Relic has built this reputation on visceral frontline combat at the core of a rich strategy experience. And that's what Dawn of War 3 is all about. Um, there's lots of Warhammer games out there, but I'll say that as a fan of that property, I think it's great. It, it's, you know, it's nothing but positive for more people to be exposed to that intellectual property and then come play Dawn of War. Um, what we want to do is create that high action, um, high strategy experience uh, that we think we do better than anyone else. Of course, <laughs> of course you do. Right, I see. Um, let me ask another thing. It's um, I played a multiplayer game mm -hmm. and I lost. I lost bad. Uh, even uh, playing the Space Marines, yeah. who was quite um, yeah bulky, yes. hard hitting guy types of guys, but I lost. So um, if you like to get new people attached to your game. Uh, how do you do it that they're not going frustrated or something like that? Is it, you've got a scheme? Absolutely. Ah. Uh, so new players are very important to us. We know that there's many, many people who will come to this game not having played previous Dawn of War, not having played previous RTS, um, and even the people who are coming with some experience, it may be five or 10 years since they played. Um, so there's a lot to support newcomers. Now some of that is very explicit. There's tutorials, uh, the campaign serves as a good learning tool, there's a variety of videos in the front end. You know, there's a lot of explicit ways to learn. Um, but it also comes down to the, you know, the implicit parts of the gameplay. So we've built in a lot of intermediary objectives into even the multiplayer space. Um, you know, I may be the game director, but I am by far not the best competitive player really? in the office. Mm -hmm. No, our, our core designers, our testers, they, you know, show me the door pretty quickly um, in some ways. Um, so I've been on the losing side of a lot of matches. Um, and I spent a, we've spent a lot of time working in different ways to achieve some victories there. You know, the fact that there's these elite units, these super units, they're great to play with, but they also make really juicy targets to play against. And you can feel really good about having taken down an elite, even if you end up losing the match. Um, there's also a lot of comeback mechanics of ways to turn the tide of battle. Um, that mean that you're not, you know, five minutes in and you know you've lost. You know, there are ways to come back. There are, in, there are um, ways to stymie an opponent. Uh, and that feels really good. You know, the, what we found with a lot of testing is once people have played the mat a couple matches, they really start to get into it and understand, uh, you know, the simple pleasures of a high action game. Um, and then as they play more, they will get the, uh, the strategic depth. Simple pleasures. <laughs> All right, simple pleasures to get an elite killed. Yeah, no, no, they don't kill the, at the cooldown time. Okay, yes. so you can't kill an elite. <laughs> um, right, um, at the end of our um, interview, I would like to ask quick and dirty, uh, three things you are new to Dawn of War and you're proud of. Oh, excellent. Um, Number one is a campaign that covers all three factions, um, rotating through all the perspectives, really gives equal love to all three of the factions. So happy we, we pulled that off. Um, super units, super units, super units. So the giant walkers, biggest units we've ever done, most fun individual units the franchise has ever seen. Um, I, you know, I really think they're the best RT, RTS units bar none. Um, and then just that 
simple pleasure of, um, you know, individual combat moments that feel so good, like delivering the assault terminators blow to the ground that stuns opponents or, uh, bringing in the orbital laser at a key moment, just like those feelings of like turning the tide. That's the point where, you know, people are standing up from their screen going, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And that's what I live for. So. Great. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for your time. Oh, and um, jetzt gehen wir wieder zurück spielen. Und diesmal werde ich gewinnen. Ich weiß es. Ich habe ja gute Tipps bekommen. Bye, Leute. Bye, everyone. Cool.